Domingo, two and three with a 3.12 ERA, 11 walks and 49 innings, 32 strikeouts. He's allowed six home runs, but his numbers probably don't even tell the story about how well he's pitched. So let's take a look at the pitching scouting report, Cam. Yes, Domingo Herman, the Yankees right-hander on the mound today. Well, his last eight starts, he's pitching to a 2.35 ERA with two earned runs or fewer in seven of those eight games. Right field, right center field, long run. It won't be caught and arise. Starts the ball game with a deep drive to right center field and a double. I was just going to say, it seemed like he, he's pressing a little bit. If that's getting to his head, but right there, no issue. The one two. Swing and a miss. Got him on the curve. And this has all been set up by that fastball. We talked about him using that fastball a lot more. And what that does when he moves that around the zone, it allows him to open up the rest of the plate with that nasty breaking ball that he's had so much success with this season. So Miranda continuing to have a productive rookie season. A deep drive to left field to the pole and a home run, a two run home run for Miranda. Uh, who else? Jose Miranda has been doing it all summer long. A low liner just inside the pole and the twins jump out in front. One two swing and a miss. He gets him. But the Twins score two. And there's the Varlin gang is here to watch Louie in his major league debut at Yankee Stadium. And there he is, just 24 years old, and he has soared through the Twins minor league system. Now he has to face Aaron Judge. This is a welcome to the big leagues moment. And he just picked up a, his first big league strikeout. And guess who it is? So the first big league strikeout for Louie Varlin comes against Aaron Judge, and it was a changeup. Here's Peraza looking for his first big league hit. Line drive down the left field line. It is a fair ball up against the wall. Peraza cruises into second with his first major league hit. Now you see Glaber Torres, Marvin Gonzalez, happy for young Oswald Peraza right there, picking up his first knock. Picked off in short right field, and a nice play by Gordon to end the inning. The shift pays off. And the Yankees strand the first base run. Off the pitcher, and Cave will reach. A well, base hit, another comebacker. This time it didn't hit the mound, it hit the pitcher, and that'll bring up Sanchez. Off the end of the bat. I'm coming in, Florial's not going to get there, and Cave will go to third base. He was fooled by that. We could tell from behind home plate that he hit it right off the end of the bat, but it didn't look that way in center field. Yeah, it almost works like a changeup. You see it out there in the outfield. You see a full hack. Probably looks like it's off the barrel. Celestino with a pop up to short his first time up. Line to left, a base hit. Celestino comes through, and it's three to nothing. Three two out singles. Sorry, Celestino now with 18 RBIs on the year. Hit sharply and backhanded beautifully by Torres. Gets the force at second to end the inning. Bottom of the fourth, the Yankees trail 3 0. Aaron Judge leads off. High drive, left field, going back, cave, turning, locking, see ya. Number 55, double nickels. Well, he now has more home runs than any righty hitter in Yankee history, breaking a tie with A Rod. A Judgey and blast into the left field seats. All rise. Here comes the Judge. Bottom half of the sixth inning, Louis Varlin is back out. I've got to believe that he's going to face either one or two batters. And he got a strikeout, seventh on the afternoon. Louis Varlin giving the Twins a really good chance to win a ball game here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon. Five and a third innings, one walk, three hits. The Twins leading three to one. Soak it in, young man. What a great job. And that brings up Glaber Torres, who's 0 for 2. High fly ball, deep left, going back, Hamilton looking up. See ya, tie game, a two run home run for Glaber Torres. It's Glaber Day, and like a good Glaber, Torres is there. And one thing, thank you, Minnesota, for taking out Varlin. Check swing, strike three, and Guzman's having a tough Yankee debut with three strikeouts. A leadoff single, a game tying home run, and we go to the seventh. Tied at three. Ramon gave the Yankees a quality start. Three runs in six innings. Now they turn it over to the bullpen. First man out of that pen is Wandy Peralta. Wandy's pitched well. This will be his 50th game of the year, sporting a 2.72 ERA. 
Grounded to third. IKF across the diamond to retire Sanchez. So Peralta comes back from 3-0 to get Sanchez to ground out. Swing and a miss. Celestino down on strikes. And don't forget Judge on Monday, too. That one is chopped to Peraza. And Wandy comes on and does what Wandy does as he retires the Twins in order one, two, three at the top of the seven. And Hamilton, a speedster, do up, but they they know the game, their opportunity could be right here, so they send up Kepler. And the pitch. Strike three. Kepler down looking. And that'll do it here in the eighth. Ground ball and another base hit for Peraza. Cave gets the ball in. Three for three for the rookie. All he needed was that first one, and now the gate's open and the knocks are coming. And that one is thrown away, allowing Peraza to advance to second, erases any chance of a double play, and puts the go-ahead run in scoring position. And Judge will walk toward the plate, and there go the four fingers, and Judge will be intentionally walked. To right field. Retreating. Cave is there to end the inning. The winning run less than 90 feet away. Correa behind the bag. Got him. What a play. Carlos Correa with a rocket from behind the second base bag to send us to the 10th inning. Ground ball and through for a base hit. Celestino rounds third. They're going to. Hold him up, but he runs through the red light and gets thrown out by who else? Cabrera. Celestino almost stops and then starts to go again. And Oswaldo Cabrera, we talked about him struggling offensively, but guess what he continues to bring is the leather with yet another assist and a huge, huge out for the Yankees defense. Miranda steps on the bag, fires across, arrives with the tag, a double play. And Duran pitches out of it. He got some help from his first baseman, Arise. Base is loaded. Infield comes in. Outfield comes in. Arise will come home. They get the force play. Return throw, double play. Not the easiest throw in either case. The throw had to go around Guzman twice. Celestino one for four on the day. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Palacios around third, he'll score. As he has done so often, Celestino put the ball in play to the opposite side of the field. Palacios scores, cave to third, Twins lead 4-3. Right back up the middle and through for a base hit. Gonzalez will score to tie the game. IKF with a big single up the middle. It's 4-4. Talk about Isaiah kind of for left for time and time again. You can say what you want to, but this guy is a baseball player. All right, so second and third. Oswaldo Cabrera with the opportunity. One, two. There it is, a base hit. And a child shall lead them to a 5-4 victory. Rewarded for staying in that at bat, never looking too overwhelmed with the situation and the struggles right there, and coming up with another huge Yankee moment for the youngster, Oswaldo Cabrera. Pan and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.